What do we have? Where's JD? He's traded. Oh. Yeah. Late season trade. <laughs> <laughs> he got tied up with his dog. Do you ever feel at any point this season that Victor hit the wall? If he did, it, it was a, a, a short wall, I guess. Uh, he, he just jumped over it and, and kept on going. Uh, you give him a lot of credit this year for uh, being able to, you know, keep his body in a, in a condition to, to play. Uh, guys just aren't used to it. And uh, keeping his mind right, you know, having some, some good days and bad days and fighting through it. Were you ever concerned, knowing his history in Indiana, that when he plays at 100 miles an hour, that you needed to pull the reins back a little bit on him? I think we always took a, I don't know, a smart approach, whether it was uh, the amount of minutes he's played, um, just keeping a, a close eye on you know, how he was feeling. I think our conversations uh, always are pretty honest. And uh, I trust him and, and what he has to say to me. And, uh, but also having a feel and, and, and seeing him on tape and seeing him in the game. Uh, so you get a feel and a read of him. But uh, that communication, honestly, has to always be there with, with he and I. We've seen the growth of so many guys this season. I mean, whether it be Kyle, Maurice, even Victor, who do you think has made some of the biggest strides uh, so far this year? There's a lot of guys. I, I just think overall, um, I mean, it's really you know, interesting just you know, watching the first time we played Cleveland to, to now, whether you see uh, Etwan Moore and his ability to read, pick, and roll and, and make a bounce pass to a big and, and how his form has improved. Uh, little things like that that I look at on film that the coaches look at uh, that uh, across the board our, our guys have, have gotten better and are better professionals right now. So I don't, I don't have one. I don't have one recipient for you. You feel like your trust level in them as a team has increased because of that as well? I, I think uh, th they're still getting there. Mm -hmm. I think the best part, and, and I, I think you saw improvement from our team, is uh, they continue to push each other. And uh, the, the trust grew uh, within the group. Mm -hmm. uh, and, I, and I think that's when we really started getting better. Coach, you just that made a small point there about each one more reading pick and rolls better. What's another uh, maybe small thing that you've noticed in terms of improvement from uh, Maurice over the course of the year? Well, I think uh, one improvement that you definitely see is uh, whether he's guarding screening action or pin down action. Uh, his ability to, to be ready and engage in a situation, whether he's chasing uh, DeMar DeRozan, whether he's chasing Paul George. Um, his technique is better. And uh, in this league where guys can really shoot the basketball, your technique matters. Uh, it takes that split of a second for a guy to get that shot off or not. Uh, I think two games ago, you saw him uh, get a block on the other end. So just being able to be up uh, and be in a position to make a play once the pass is made. So uh, that would be a, a small thing, but a growth that's needed, in which, he's, which he's done. And is that something you, you pointed to him specifically that he needed to work on in a film session, or did he sort of bring that on himself? I think overall that's something with our smalls that we, we needed to get better at. Um, and uh, he's a guy that has the length and, and the athletic ability to be really good. Uh, he should be able to guard uh, multiple smalls uh, in, in the league and, and be successful at it. Aaron's three of nine in each of his last three games. Is he hitting something about a veteran wall right now? <laughs> I just think, um, you know, you take um, you know, the previous game where we really were throwing the ball into Nick, and uh, Aaron's always been about uh, the success of this team. And um, he wants our guys to get better. And um, not easy on a veteran this time of year. But he's done all the right things uh, for, for the whole year, so I appreciate that. John, I know you said Victor's a guard, not a point guard. Where is he in terms of his maturation in the offense? You know, he's improved. I, I think he feels comfortable with the ball in his hands right now. Um, it's interesting. I think he looks forward to the ball being in his hands, and I think that's a huge step. Um, a 
being able to, to get guys in the right place. And that's a tough thing to do in this league. It, it'll get tougher as we get better also. Um, to tell a guy, that I'm not coming to you this time, and this is what should be done. And uh, he's getting more comfortable at that. But I, I think the true sign is he wants the ball in his hands. And uh, that, that shows maturation right there. That said, will you decide at the end of the season, off season, what he is? Is he a shooting guard? Is he a point guard? We'll continue to address that uh, as an organization as we go forward. Uh, you know, as we add different pieces to our team, uh, that, that'll be an ongoing uh, conversation. That right now we don't we don't have to have an answer. You know, Cleveland's three and zero against you guys this season. It seems like the common theme's been you guys come out in the third quarter, you win the third quarter, but then the fourth quarter, and then in one case the overtime, Cleveland's been able to get the upper hand on you guys. What? Commonalities do you see in what Cleveland's been able to do to finish off games stronger against you guys? Kyrie Irving, Deion Waiters, and offensive rebounding. So those two making plays at the end of games, whether it's Kyrie getting to the bucket, making threes, Deion Waiters using his ability to play one-on-one -on -one and, and score buckets, or mm -hmm. one of those two missing a shot and Verja here or Tristan Thompson, one of those guys getting the rebound. So it's really been that simple uh, against us. How do you game plan for a team when you're not sure in the case of uh, Kyrie Irving if he's going to play or not? This morning shoot around, it was uh, Kyrie slash Waiters. So they both can score 30, so defense will be the same. Or 40. All right, everyone good? Mm -hmm. I just want to ask a question. Yes. You haven't seen the Cavs in two months. What improvement do you see specifically? Uh, defensively, uh, I think uh, Luau adds a uh, different, you know, dynamic. He, he looks comfortable guarding threes, and you know he's a guy that can guard guys one on one, so that takes some pressure off the defense. Uh, and then Spencer, uh, Spencer's ability to stretch the floor uh, gives those guards space to penetrate, and uh, makes you know pick and roll a little bit different when he can pop back and he's shooting the three the way he is. All right, Thanks, you got Coach. it.